Hi everyone, just a really quick video on how to mix up my Better Black. So let me show you what we've got first of all. We've got this, which I call Super Base. It's an acrylic uh, vehicle, it's a copolymer, and it's designed especially to hold the pigment and make sure it's super flat and super matte. Then you've got the pigment here, which is a black powder, which we'll be mixing in later. And I've also got a drop of water, which is really handy. I'll show you what we do with that later. So the first thing that you do is you squeeze out a nice generous blob of super base. And then we're going to add a little bit of the black pigment. Now, there's about a million ways to mix this. You could use a proper glass muller, you could sieve this, you could refine this, you can spend your time getting it absolutely perfect. I'm gonna show you the really quick accessible way because I want this to be something everyone can do at home. I'm just gonna use a paintbrush. So you'll start mixing the powder into the base vehicle, into the super base. And you'll notice that it just takes and takes and takes the pigment. Keep mixing it and uh, you'll see it mixes together really nicely and it becomes almost creamy. Now, what you're looking for is that after a bit, you'll realize that you feel like it can take just a little bit more pigment. So at this kind of stage, it's creamy, but it's not too gloopy. You chuck in a little bit more pigment, a bit more than you think you would need, and it starts to really stick together. It's almost like a thick paste and you can't quite move it. And you'll be a bit worried that you've broken it at this point. You'll feel like, oh no, it's all gone wrong. It's all turned into a lumpy, coal-like, sooty mess. When you've got to this point, that means the base is pretty much taken on all the pigment it possibly can. So it's time for the splash of water. Add just a tiny little bit of water and you'll see what happens. It reactivates this and it's at this stage you can mix it really nicely into your paint. So very carefully work it all in and you'll see that very quickly all those horrible lumpy bumpy bits start to disappear and you'll see that it becomes really rich and really black. Okay, so that's done now and it's made a really nice texture that's ready for painting. You can make this as thick or as flowy as you want, but this is how I like to use it. Okay, over here, I've got a sheet that I prepared earlier, which shows some of the best known and most accessible acrylic based black paints. And I've put it on this shiny surface. So I'm gonna add what we've just mixed here and for a fair test, I'm actually using the same brush I used for the others because a soft brush is really important if you want to get that super flat, super matte effect. So a nice soft brush is what you need for coating most things. That's all done now. So what we need to do next is just wait a few minutes for that to dry and then we'll have a little look at how it's turned out. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so it's been about half an hour. It's dry now. Let's have a look at how it's come out. So there it is. Let's see how it compares to some of the other paints. So there's our black and you can see it's very pigmented, very flat and extremely matte. It's reflecting almost no light, which is amazing. The generic blackboard paint, it's very streaky. It wasn't very pigmented, although it is quite matte. Dana Rowney, System 3, really good coverage, slight sheen to it, um, quite pigmented, but again, it didn't cover the background that well. The generic black acrylic, which I bought in a supermarket, is pretty good. I reckon with a few coats, you'd get a decent finish, but again, it has a sheen, it has an almost gloss to it. Winter and Newton Galleria, not very good at all on the coverage, not very good on the pigment, and also a little bit shiny. The Dulux Rich Black Matte is very matte. It's reflecting almost no light, but it's very bad at covering the surface, I think. So that's the comparison. 
So I'm really excited to see what you've done. Hopefully that's useful. Share your work with me on the hashtag ShareTheBlack. Thank you very much. Bye.